Hi everybody, my name is Priscilla Hull and this is the uh, um, financial, oh gosh, I've forgotten already. Oh my God, how embarrassing. Um, this is the financial empowerment video series I'm doing where I'm drawing one card from the Osho Zen Tarot deck and uh, that card is um, really just an indicator of um, something for you to look at with your money and with your sense of self and uh, and maybe some insights on how you see money, how you can um look at becoming is how to look at becoming more personally empowered with your money and also with the money system that we work with and when we look at money we look at valuing ourselves what does that really mean so the more we look at personal financial empowerment we're actually looking at personal empowerment not specifically money but it often starts with money because that's how we are encouraged to perceive our self-value through the jobs we have etc so now that I've gone on a little bit about that you may have noticed I've lost my voice, yay. A uh, bit of a journey in learning to speak my truth and find um, the language to express exactly what's going on. And I'm also using the recording headset because there's lots of background sounds. So here we go, buses, etc. Woohoo! Welcome to um, Lahaina, suburbia. Okie dokie. Here we go. So this card is quite beautiful. This card is really about slowing down and really taking the time to understand and experience what your money means to you. Um, when you see this woman here, she's touching the tree with like a, a, an absolute sense of reverence. And sometimes what we do with money is we actually, we hold it in reverence, but we also hold, we have a disdain for money on some levels or almost a dislike for money and maybe it's time to have a good look at you know what it is that you have in your wallet and what you do with the money in your wallet how does it sustain you how does it nurture you um, one of the things that we often don't do when it comes to money is actually look at how it is empowering us to do some things we often see money as a detractor in some way, shape or form, that it's like, oh my God, we can't do that because we can't afford it. But in actual fact, you know, you probably could afford it if you looked at money differently. For example, I've been looking at how I see my rent money um, and how much I need to pay to live in a home somewhere. And what I've started to see and understand is that I'm looking at the money as um, an investment on what I'm paying for somewhere nice to live that gives me roof over my head, um, creates a space for me to have a nice bedroom and you know a nice kitchen to cook in where I feed myself, a nice place to sit and chill out in the garden. Um, and you know even if I'm lucky enough to be able to rent with someone who has a pet, then I'm going to be able to have you know loving pet nurturing as well. So I'm looking at it more as an investment than it is an expense. So I'm also looking at other things in my money world where what I'm in spending my money on is technically an investment. Excuse me, I'm going to pause. I'm going to choke on a cough in a moment. Okay, so I'm back and I'm probably a little bit teary in the eyes from my coughing fit, but there you go. Um, so yeah, it's, it's looking at experiencing money and from a completely different perspective. You know, when we see and appreciate the power that money has to do things for us that really matter and we see them as an investment, then we actually are naturally empowering ourselves to do something with it rather than feeling that um, we're draining ourselves because, oh, my God, I have to pay for that. It's like the, 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 your phone bill, you know, whether you've got a, um, a, you know, a data package with your mobile phone or whatever, you know, when you look at it, when I look at the phone bill, I see it as how am I going to communicate and connect with everybody. So I don't see the phone bill as an expense. I see it as an investment in how I'm connecting with the rest of the planet and my family and the people that matter to me. So I'm experiencing money from an investment perspective, not from an expense perspective. And I think this is really the key to this. Experiencing our cash flow, experiencing our money in a completely different paradigm to what we've been raised with. Stop and think about that for a moment because I know it's making me look at it right now and I think this is really important, reminding me to come back and see the, the, the investment that I pay out 
with the things that make my life more comfortable, more gentle, more beautiful. Um, and it doesn't have to be a lot of money, but always seeing the money that I spend as an, as an investment and experiencing my money from a completely different perspective. So I'm hoping this helps. I hope it's useful for you. And uh, there'll be another time next week, another card next week, when I'll uh, get this next video out. And good luck. And if anybody's got any questions, please feel free to email me and, um, and I'll follow through and talk to you with them. Talk to you directly that way. Thank you.